What is going on guys, it is Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to transfer data from one Nintendo Switch SD card to another. So I, like many Switch users, have an SD card as an additional form of storage on my Switch, but through the years of downloading games and accumulating save data, that SD card is starting to fill up, so I gotta get a new one. But I still want all of my save data to be carried over to that new SD card, and luckily that is possible on Nintendo Switch, so in this video I'll be showing you how to do that. A couple things to keep in mind before we start. First is that we are going to need a computer with an SD card reader either built into the computer or a standalone that we can plug in using a USB. Nintendo recommends using a Windows computer, which is what I'm going to be using in this tutorial, but it is possible to use a Mac or Linux computer if you have one. Just know that your results will vary if you use one of these operating systems. Second thing is this process is meant for transferring data from one Switch's SD card to a new SD card. This is not for swapping an SD card over to another Switch or even copying data over to a new SD card to be used on another one of your switches. If you'd like to see a tutorial on how to transfer data from switch to switch, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. But if you try to take an SD card from one switch console and use it on another one, you can have issues with your games not loading correctly, with your save files being corrupted, and overall it's just not going to work if you try it with another console. So that's not what this tutorial is about. And then lastly, we are going to be accessing the save data on the SD card on our switch. This does contain game files, saves. Just make sure not to go in through the files and edit them or delete them or copy or move any of them out because if you do you will have serious issues when you go to put your new SD card back in your switch all right with that all out of the way let's get right into the tutorial so starting on our Nintendo switch here go ahead and power it down completely so to do that go ahead and press and hold the power button on the switch console itself it's going to give you some power options here so select those and then select turn off give your switch a couple seconds to fully power off and then turn it around and then flip up the kickstand where the SD card is stored and pop that guy out out. Next, go ahead and take that SD card and put it into your card reader on your computer. After you pop it in, the SD card should come up in your Windows File Explorer application. So it'll be on the left down towards the bottom. It should be called SDXC card. And inside there should be a folder named Nintendo that has all of your data in it. So go ahead and select that and drag it over to your desktop where it's easy to find. Now, depending on how much save data you have on your Switch, this process can take a while. Mine took about 40 minutes to transfer. So you can uh, step away from your computer, get a drink or a snack or something while this is uh, transferring over to your PC. All right, so once that transfer has completed, we can go ahead and eject our old SD card from our computer. So go ahead and right click on the SD card in File Explorer and then select Eject. It is now safe to remove. Now you may have noticed I just ejected the SD card without reformatting it or deleting the old data off of it. So make sure you do the same. Make sure you leave all your save data on that old SD card until this process is completed and you're sure that everything is working on the new SD card once the data has been transferred. Transferred. So with the card ejected, go ahead and grab your new SD card, and we're first going to insert it into our Nintendo Switch console. So once again, go to the back, flip up the kickstand, and pop in your new SD card, and then go ahead and power your Nintendo Switch on. From the home screen, go down to System Settings, go all the way down to System, and then in System, go all the way down to Formatting Options at the bottom. In here, select Format SD Card. It's going to ask us if we are sure we want to format. Now, if you're reusing an SD card that has data on it already, be sure that that's data you don't need or that you've already backed it up somewhere else because this SD card is going to be wiped when we format it. So go ahead and make sure that, then press continue. It's gonna ask you to confirm once again, press formats this time, and then the switch will restart. Once it's restarted, go ahead, power it back down all the way, and then go ahead and remove the new SD card from the switch and insert it into the adapter in your computer. This new card should also show up as SDXC card in your file explorer, so click onto that. And you'll notice after the switch formatting, there is a folder on this card called Nintendo, just like the old card has. And what we're going to do now is we are going to drag the old Nintendo folder that is currently on our desktop over to our new SD card with the new Nintendo folder. So that's going to copy all the files from our desktop over to that new SD card. Once again, depending on how much data you have, this process can take up to an hour. At some point, it is going to let you know that there are duplicate files in the source and destination. So you're going to choose skip these files because we're going to keep the existing ones that are in the Nintendo folder on this SD card. And then after that, it should finish the transfer. All right, once that 
that transfer is finished, go ahead and eject your SD card once again from your computer and then remove it. Put it back in your switch. Once again, make sure the switch is powered down when you do this and then power your switch back on. If you did the transfer correctly, it should automatically recognize the new SD card with all the files in it. Now you may see a few cloud icons next to the applications or games you have on your home screen. That's normal. We can go ahead and fix that by just selecting the game and it's going to ask us to download it. The game is still actually on the SD card. It just the switch just doesn't know it. So when we click download, it'll search for the location on the SD card and then it'll realize, oh yeah, the game's already downloaded to here. So we're all good to go. So that process should only take a few seconds for it to quote unquote download it. And you'll have to do that with all the games on your Nintendo Switch. And then what I like to do is I like to go into system settings, go down to data management. I just like to verify that the micro SD card is being recognized and that it is showing the correct amount of storage on there, which it does for me. I would also recommend keeping a backup of your Nintendo save data just for a, a few weeks after you do this transfer, just to make sure the SD card is good and just to make sure there's no other kind of issue that pops up when you are gaming. Other than that, that pretty much does it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, be sure to leave those in the comment section down below. I'll try to get back to you as quickly as possible. If you like this video, be sure to like it. And if you love my content, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Other than that, I've been Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide, and be sure to have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you.